Okay, we are going to work on our notes on structure and function. We're going to think about all of the different types of cells in the body that we've learned about so far. And then we're going to uh, draw some pictures, think about how the cells are arranged, think about their jobs in the body, and then match that structure and function piece. Okay, let's start with our blood cells. That was the first ones we really dove into. So that's where we're going to start. Make sure you have your color pencils handy, right? We're going to do some drawing and coloring and really think about writing on the small side so we can fit all the information we need in the chart. All right, so let's start with blood and blood vessels. Blood vessels, remember those are the tubes that carry the blood around the body. Uh, think about the picture we looked at of the person who had donated their body and we were able to see all of those tubes running throughout their body. All right, in this space right here, we're gonna draw blood and the different components. So we're gonna make ourselves a little model and just think about the blood images that we've looked at. Hopefully you can make your box a little more square than mine. So first let's start with our red blood cells. Remember those were like the little round circles and there were lots and lots and lots of them. And let's add in a few of our white blood cells. And let's add some color. So grab your red. We're going to color in our red blood cells. So remember they are red because they contain hemoglobin. That is the protein that helps latch on to oxygen. So when there's lots of oxygen, Attach to your red blood cells, they are bright red. All right, pause the video if you need to to finish coloring in your red blood cells. And then I'm going to grab a purple for our white blood cells. They're obviously white, that's why we call them white blood cells. But when we look at them under the microscope, they usually have a stain added to them to make them stand out. And so under a microscope, they're usually going to show up purpley colored. So we're going to use that purple. We'll just outline them in the purple. All right. And then we need platelets. So I'm just going to use a blue for my platelets. And we're just going to put little dots. Remember, there's not a ton of them because we don't want them to clot our blood all the time. And then the plasma, I'm going to take a yellow and just kind of shade in the background. Don't shade in your white blood cells. And that is going to be my plasma. And then the last thing we need to do is obviously label, always label. So these are my white blood cells, WBC white blood cells. This is a red blood cell. This is plasma. And these are platelets. Whoop, those are my major parts of my blood and I can see their structure. All right, now we're gonna go through and describe some of that structure in words. Okay, we're just going to make a nice little bullet point list here. First, blood is a liquid. That is super important to know as far as how it's structured. Both red blood cells and white blood cells are 
round or spherical. Platelets have long tentacles that stick together. And blood vessels themselves, blood vessels have a branching structure. Right? So that is where they branch out. Okay? Cool, cool. Now let's tie the structure of the parts of blood to their function or job in the body. Uh, let's start with the blood is liquid. So let's think about plasma. So plasma carries food, water, nutrients around the body. Next up, red blood cells carry oxygen around the body. White blood cells fight infection. Platelets clog damaged parts to stop bleeding. And finally, blood vessels, blood vessels provide a path for blood to travel the body. Kind of ran out of space there, huh? All right. So we have our picture of the blood. We have the different structures in the blood. We have the job of those structures. Now we want to combine how the structure is related to the function. All right, let's start with blood is a mixture of things the body needs everywhere, right? Blood is everywhere in the body because it contains the things that all of the body needs access to. Next, let's think about that round shape. The round shape of blood cells allows them to flow around the body in tubes, 
Those are our vessels, right? They can fit through the tubes. Let's think platelets. The arms and stickiness of platelets. helps them plug damage blood vessels to stop leaks. 